be able to counter the funds who had come and bring very large numbers, almost up to 30,000 uh, mm. funds. And uh, secondly, there were reports that uh, only three out of the possible 11 gates were open. Maybe you can just clarify that. Well, first and foremost, the security uh, comes at three levels. We have police who are deployed here on request. And uh, yesterday we had quite a big number, uh, about 100, some on horseback, some um, with dogs, and then, of course, the others that, that bring order. Then the, the second level is that there is normally uh, security companies that are hired. And at the third level, our own security at the study board. Uh, that's a very thin level. Uh, the study board security people really provide guidance in terms of information. Uh, so, uh, first and foremost, uh, security was adequate to the extent that the majority of the people were already in the field. They were inside in the stadium, they were seated. The second is that, uh, as I said, the rain delayed a lot of people to stay outside. So that when they came in, in a big force, uh, in a situation in which uh, the police nowadays can't hit people, uh, because they are not supposed to hit people. The fans take advantage also and come in a, in a forceful way. Um, so it really becomes a situation in which, as I said, we are using a human being to push thousands of fans who want to, to come in. And let's not forget that the fans who are pushing in could be a mixture of those who have the tickets and those who don't have. And therefore, those who don't have could even be pushing harder because they see a chance of getting into the pitch. So I think the security arrangement would have to be re reviewed fully. But again, that goes beyond the security. It, it calls for discipline among the fans. In Tanzania here, people are more orderly. Uh, and, and that seems to be the nature of 